Every year on the island of Sodor, the Fab Controller requests a thorough inventory of all rolling stock to ensure that the trucks and coaches were in top working order. If one was found to be deficient, it was removed from service and replaced with a new one. This year, it was discovered that many of the railway's brake vans needed to be replaced. They were old and worn out, and had been used for many years without much maintenance. Their axles were rusty, and the engines found them hard to move. The engines were excited when they learned they would be getting new brake vans. We won't have to lug anchors up Golden Hill anymore, Percy chortled. Yes, Thomas added. No more screechy brakes holding us back. It wasn't long before the new vans arrived. They were much sturdier than the old vans had been, and their brakes were brand new. Soon, good traffic became a pleasure as the engines glided along the rails. The new brake vans got along well with the engines. All except one. He wasn't a very friendly brake van at all. He was up to date like all the others, but his attitude left something to be desired. He was rude to the engines, and tried his hardest to rile up the trucks and make them hold back, often making the engines late. His behavior was so bad that the engines would leave him on sidings out of the way to avoid having to use him. As a result, the brake van was something of a drifter. One day, I'm sorry to say that the brake van ended up on Thomas's branch line. Thomas, before leaving with his goods trains, always spoke with the brake van to make sure they knew the route and when to brake. Most vans were pleased to have their engine keep them in the loop, but this brake van didn't appreciate it at all. You think I don't know the route, do you? The van shouted. Thomas was taken aback. He had never met such a rude brake van before. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, Thomas replied, feeling hot in the boiler. I always ask my brake vans to make them feel included. Well, you can keep your puny mouth shut. I'm just going along for the ride. Thomas was most annoyed. Without another word, Thomas took his train down the branch line to the junction. The journey went well at first, but it wasn't long before the van began to snicker and whisper to the trucks. Part of Thomas's branch line runs over the river. After the winter, when water from the melted snow runs down from the mountains, the river is often so loud you can barely hear yourself think. As Thomas passed over the bridge, the brake van took the opportunity to conspire with the trucks. When we clear the bridge, charge Thomas, he won't see it coming. The river was so loud that Thomas didn't hear the brake van. When Thomas got to the other side of the bridge, he felt the surge of the trucks behind him. On, 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 they cried. Up ahead, the track curved round toward the tunnel. Thomas tried his hardest to slow down, but he couldn't. Thomas hit the bend and came off the rails with a crash, his trucks tumbling behind him. He came to a halt just shy of the tunnel. He wasn't hurt, but was badly shaken. The brake van, still on the rails, guffawed. You silly engine! It would appear that you must be the one who doesn't know the route, not me. Any respectable engine would know to slow down at that bend, not speed up. It was your fault, Thomas muttered. You made them push me. Call it what you want. You engines just don't know how to treat brake vans. We're essential, you see. The fat controller didn't think it was very funny. You have been causing our railway a lot of trouble, he said. You have been vindictive and spiteful to my engines, and I will not have that. The van only stared. From now on, you will stay here in the yards to think about what you've done. The van was perfectly content to sit in the yards for a while, not having to work and not having to talk to the other engines. 
Soon he would be back in service and ready to play tricks on other engines. Unfortunately for him, one engine would soon give him a piece of his mind, but that's another story. 